Hi guys, it's XX today. I'm going to show you how to install Kodi for your Amazon TV box or Amazon Fire Stick. So what you need to do is go to Settings, System, and then go to Developer Options and make sure ADB Debugging is on and Apps for unknown, from Unknown Sources is on as well. So after you basically do that, what you need to do is you need to go to your network, which is you need to go to About and then Network. So what you need to do is write the IP address under SSID. So as soon as you've got a copy of that, what you need to do is go onto your computer. Okay, we're back on the computer. So what you need to do is download Kodi first. So we'll go onto the Kodi.tv. So you open that link and then you go to downloads. And then what you need to download is the Android version. So you download the ARM, click on the ARM hyperlink as soon as that loads up it should ask you to save it open so what we want to do is save it so whilst that's downloading what we need to do is go to ADB Fire so as soon as we've typed in ADB Fire you click on the top link which should be www.jakala.com so we click on that and it will ask you perfect Kodi companions which one do you want to use for Android TV or Amazon Fire TV so we're using Amazon Fire TV we'll click that and it will come up with this so if you scroll down a little bit, uh, there's downloads here for Windows, Mac and Linux. So since I'm using Windows, I'll click on the Windows link. So, and then it'll say start download, begin, and then just wait for it to download. And it'll ask you to save it, so save it again. So I'm just not going to bother with that because I've already got it downloaded. So we'll go back, and what you'll get is these two files. So what you need to do is extract the WinRAR, and what you'll get is a file like this. So you do, you open it, ADB Fire application, open that, just wait for it a minute. And then what you need to do is make a new profile. So we'll just put Fire Stick for the description. The address is what you needed earlier, what I said to you to back up from the network options on the About page. So you need to get the IP address. So man's 192.168.1.103 so as you can see that's the IP address that my Amazon Fire Stick is yours may be different so do not copy this use your own So click save and what you need to do is as soon as it says current device you click connect so as soon as it's connected you should see connected devices and then that means it's worked so what we need to do then is we're going to install the APK which is this so we click install APK find where it's saved so man's on the desktop Kodi 15.2 APK double click it install click yes and then what it'll do is it'll go through and send it to your Kodi device uh, fire stick I mean we'll just wait for this Right, so as you can see, it's just said installed, so we click OK, and now what you need to do is click on the Firestarter button. So you click Firestarter, and then also just click Install, and this will be the exact same thing, so we just need to wait again. Right, so here we go, Firestarter installed, so what we're going to do now is go back onto the Fire Stick, and I'll show you what to do from there. Right, so as you can see, we're on the Amazon Fire Stick right now, so what we need to do is we need to go down to the bottom to Settings, applications and then go all the way to the bottom to manage install applications to pr to see if this has worked what you need to do is make sure Firestarter is there and also Kodi but the only problem is with this is that you, ca you have to load it up through this method all the time which is click it and launch applications I'm going to show you how to uh, do it with Firestarter so you can press the home button it will go straight to Kodi so as you can see Kodi is running for the first time And there you go. It's just loading up now. As you can see, you've got everything there. And then you press the home button, you're back to the thing. But as I said, you have to go to settings all the time. So what I'm going to show you is how to uh, make it easier to go to it. So what we need to do is go to manage install applications. 
and go to the fire starter app. So we click that and click launch application. So this will load up, which is just basically a different design with like different apps and that. So what I've done with mine is you go to settings, go down, keep going down, and there's a button where it says home button single click and you can put it to whatever you want. So we could put it to Cody, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave that with, uh, I'm going to move the single click to fire home and I'm going to put the double click to Cody. So we'll click that and then what you, all you need to do then is go back, press double click the home button and then Cody will load up. You press it single time, it'll go back. So literally all you need to do is just double click it and then it's on. So that's how to install Cody. Thanks for watching and uh, subscribe if you enjoyed this video and it helped you.